mighty God we serve, amen. When our back is up against the wall, when we're in trouble, amen, we can call on somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we can call on somebody, amen. Because sometimes mama may not be there to help us even out of trouble. Sometimes daddy is not there to help us to come out of trouble. But we can call on the name of Jesus, amen. He begins to work some supernatural things in our lives, hallelujah. He is worthy. So we pray it's on today. I'm not going to be before you long, but I thank everybody for coming out on today. Amen. Hallelujah. For those that wanted to come and didn't come. Amen. I just thank you, praise God, for just being so merciful. Amen. Stuff that we look at as being a mess, but God is saying, I turn a mess into a mess. Amen. He's the one that has all power in his hands. Hallelujah. He's the way maker. He is the miracle worker. Amen. Because I know we got some stuff on today that we need the Lord to work out in our lives. Amen. But we got to continue to trust Him even when we can't trust Him. Amen. Oh, my God. We'll find ourselves here tired, waiting in the waiting room. And if you ever been to a hospital, you know you don't have to wait. Amen. You don't have to wait to see the doctor. But see, when you get impatient sometimes, sometimes people leave the waiting room and they'll go somewhere else or they'll begin to do things on their own. Amen. But I'm reminded on today, God is saying, don't get tired in the waiting room. Amen. Psalms 27 and 14 says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, amen. Uh, David was writing this song. Uh, David had begotten, he David had been anointed king of Samuel, amen. But see, he was 16 at the time when he got anointed by, by Samuel to be king, the next one in line. But see, David had to wake up. He could become king just as fast. Uh, it took him 14 years. To get his position, amen. Wait, wait, I say, upon the Lord. In the midst of David, waiting, David almost got killed multiple times by Saul, amen. God is saying, don't get tired waiting in the waiting room. The woman with the issue of blood had to wait 12 long years. Sarah had to wait 90 years to give birth to a son. Jacob had to wait 14 years to marry the woman he wanted. Joseph had to wait 13 years between slavery and prison. A man at the pool when they get in the trouble water, had to wait 38 years before he received his healing. What I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying on today, we'll find ourselves getting patient. We'll find ourselves getting in a desperate state, amen. And we'll begin to take things in our own hands. But see what he's saying right here, you got to wait. We'll give up on people because it seems like they're not going to turn around. We'll give up on folks because it seems like they're not going to come out. But God is saying when you begin to wait, you begin to see a manifestation of the Lord. Amen. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. We have to stop being impatient. And being desperate. When you get into a desperate state, you begin to do things because you feel like it's not possible. I don't know what it is or who it is on the day. Seem like they're in a desperate state, so they begin to take them out in their own hands. Well, you know, God is not easy. Because we know we feel like he's not answering our prayers. It seems like he's so far away, man. It seems like he has forsaken us. 
And that's what we pray to look for an immediate response. I want to let you know today, God said, don't get tired waiting in the waiting room. You are the next in line, amen. We know somebody else came into the waiting room after you, but they got seen first, amen. We know somebody came into the waiting room and they might pass you, amen. Check it out in the spirit realm. You've been waiting on God to manifest His stuff in your life. You've been doing all the things that God has called for you to do. You've been being obedient. You've been being that person that God has called you to be. But it seems like God ain't answering your prayer. But somebody else began to come in the waiting room. And they begin to get everything they are asked and praying, and the Lord has blessed them. But why would they yet still wait in the waiting room? God said, don't oh, get tired. In the waiting room. Don't get tired on today. Because when we begin to get tired, we go into desperation. Desperation calls us to do some stuff that we really don't even want to do. No, it's not good for us. It let us know that we're not even trusting God the way that we need to trust Him. While you are waiting in the ready room, wait your turn, amen. Wait your turn to get seen by the doctor. He know your issue. He know your every situation. He know your every circumstance. He know your upsets. He know that they make you angry. But he said, hold on, daughter. Hold on, son. Don't get tired of waiting in this waiting room just yet. So, so what are you waiting in the waiting room for? Some of us are waiting in the waiting room for a loved one to get delivered from our patrols and alcohol. Amen. Some of us have been waiting for about 20 years for our loved one to be saved. Some of us have been waiting for a long time. But God is saying, don't get tired. Wait in the waiting room. Some of us are in the waiting room waiting to be healed. Amen. Lord, I've been going through this sickness for years. I've been going through this about 15 years, Lord. But God is saying, don't get tired in the waiting room. Amen. Your child, you've been praying for him to come out. You've been praying for them to get delivered. You've been praying for them to get set free. And you've been praying for God. 25 years. God said, don't get tired in the wedding room. Amen. What are you in the wedding room for? You wait on your marriage to get better. You wait on your relationship to get better. Don't get tired in the wedding room, daughter. Don't get 